Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Mark's animated cattle car. Uh, as you see, I've cleaned it up a bit. Um, basically just zapped it with uh, soap and water and a toothbrush. And not even very thoroughly. I didn't want to take it apart yet. Anyway, I've been waiting for that uh, oil to uh, penetrate all the uh, uh, mechanism in this car. In the meantime, you can see how rusted this was. In the meantime, I have replaced the spring with an exact duplicate of the original. And uh, this has been on here now for several hours. And it's finally starting to break this stuff down, as you can see. So by tomorrow, this will be uh, uh, actually a thousand percent better. But it is working. That's the nice thing about it. I did get everything broken loose. And as you see, it works again. And so the way this worked, there is a ramp that mounts evidently on the track. It has to be solidly mounted. And as the uh, car comes up to it, it encounters that ramp, opens the door, and of course the cow comes out directly on the ramp. So it's up and running. This thing was frozen absolutely solid when I got it. I didn't know if I was going to break it loose or not. The uh, stampings are really thin. And this thing is really, really badly rusted. So I had to be really careful not to break anything off. But uh, it's getting freer virtually every time I cycle it now. So as you see, it is up and running. It's not particularly valuable. I looked on eBay. You find them for 9 bucks. There's one on there with the ramp and uh, uh, all the accessories that came with the original car for 119 well, that's a big disparity between nine bucks and 119 bucks. But in this case, it's a decent car. I got it with that set for 25 bucks. It's got uh, four wheel trucks. It runs well. It's uh, up and running. And by tomorrow, this will be even freer. And then I can start uh, getting some of the rust off of it. But as you see, it does work absolutely perfectly now. So anyway, I uh, had a box of springs that I keep, so I went through the box of springs and actually found one that is virtually identical to the original, and uh, just installed it, one drop of oil, and uh, now I'm just waiting for all the uh, uh, rust to begin breaking down. You see how it's liquefying. But this was really, really badly rusted, as you can tell, and it was frozen solid. I've got it saturated in 30 weight motor oil. And by tomorrow, uh, probably half of this, you can just scrape off with your thumbnail. I'll just use a small screwdriver and, and physically scrape this away. Uh, there's no way to make it look nice again. It was severely damaged. Uh, I'm actually surprised that I got it broken loose. I thought one of uh, the parts would snap off before the uh, oxide uh, finally released. Anyway, as you see, it works. It's up and running. It's completely original, except for the spring, of course. So it was fun to fix. I went online to see exactly what it was and uh, if it had any value at all. And it doesn't. I mean, nine bucks, ten bucks, something like that. Like I said, it's something that uh, just came with a set. It wasn't something that I would have actively pursued. But I thought it was interesting, if uh, nothing else. So it's up and running. Replace the spring. Everything's broken loose. By tomorrow, this should be... Uh, as free as it was when it uh, left the factory. As you can see, that is working really well. Really simple. So, glad I found the spring. Anyway, I just want to do a follow-up video on this. The uh, Mark's Animated Cattle Car. It works. It's interesting. Um, not something that I would pursue, but uh, Mark's offered it. And uh, always interesting to see these old animated cars. So, just want to do a follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.